Hello, and welcome to this Getting Started with STM32 and LoRaWAN protocol video. The LoRaWAN protocol is an open global standard used for secure, carrier-grade IoT LPWAN connectivity over a wireless LoRa network. The LoRaWAN certification program guarantees the interoperability and the technical flexibility to address the multiple IoT applications. The main assets of LoRaWAN are very low power consumption, very long-range capability, the low cost of the node and the overall cost of the network deployment, an open and standard LoRaWAN protocol driven by the Open LoRa Alliance, a native AES 128-bit encryption protocol, and a true and GPS-free indoor geolocation. ST Microelectronics offers a kit with an ultra-low-power STM32L073RZT6 Nucleo 64 development board and an SX1272MBDAS expansion board. This leaves the door open for thousands of possible combinations using the STM32 open development environment. Now, we will show you an example of how to connect the STM32 platform to a low raw gateway. First, we will look at what is needed. Then, we will install the hardware components, the software package, and quickly modify the STM32 software to display a test message. Finally, we will connect the gateway to display debug traces on the terminal. For this exercise, we need the PNucleo LRWAN1, a low-power wireless STM32 pack containing the Nucleo L073RZ development board with an ultra-low-power STM32L073 MCU, an SX1272MB2 DAS LoRa RF expansion board, and an antenna. You will also need a computer with the free Keel integrated development environment, the iCube LRWAN LoRaWAN software expansion package, your favorite terminal. We will use TerraTerm and, of course, an internet browser. For the gateway, we will use a multi-connect conduit gateway from Multitech with an embedded MTAC LoRa 868 accessory card dedicated to the 868 MHz frequency. Now, let's set up the boards. On the Nucleo board, make sure that jumper JP1 is closed. Jumper JP5 is set to position E5V, and jumper JP6 is closed. Then you can plug the SX1272MB2 DAS LoRa expansion board to the STM32 Nucleo board and attach the antenna to the ANT connector on the LoRa expansion board. In the next step, we explain how to download and install the LoRaWAN software package. On the www.st.com website, type LoRaWAN into the search engine. Then select the link iCube LRWAN. And accept the license agreement. Save the file and extract it, ideally to c colon users slash your name slash stm32 cube slash repository slash. We have to first change some software parameters to activate UART debug traces and to display a test message on the gateway. Browse to the correct repository and open the main project. The project is located in the same directory where you extracted it. When Keel is open, select the correct target. In our case, the SX1272MB2 DAS module. In the hw underscore conf.h file, uncomment debug and trace. In the commissioning.h file, change the EUI device address line 96 to the following address. Now the last modification to generate a test message. In the main.c file, comment the function on line 249 and replace it with the following instruction. 
Now we can build and download the project to the target device. We can use TerraTerm to retrieve UART messages from the Nucleo board. Select the correct serial port, COM8, for us. Set the new line receive character to auto. The baud rate to 921 600 and data to 7 bit. Power up your gateway and make sure it is connected to your PC with an Ethernet cable. And now let's look at the gateway settings. Using your browser, connect to the gateway's default IP address, 192.168.2.1. Enter admin for username and admin for password. In the Setup menu, select Low Raw Network Server. Set the mode to Network Server. The extended unique identifier to 01010101010101. Enter the application key previously entered in the Nucleo software. And finally, click Submit to save the change. Now, let's see if the node is connected to the gateway. In the Status and Logs menu, select Statistics and open the Low Raw tab. If your Nucleo Plus Low Raw device is switched on, the EUI address of your device is displayed. To go even further in this spy approach, in the Apps menu, select Node Red. Node Red is a visual tool for wiring the Internet of Things. Drag the Low Raw Input Low Raw node and drop it on the sheet. Do the same for the Debug node. Don't forget to link the nodes. Double click on the Low Raw node to ensure that the debug output is set to Message Property. Click Deploy to activate the modifications. If your board is running, you can compare the message from the UART Nucleo terminal with those received by the gateway. Now you are able to build your own low raw sensor node based on an STM32 MCU, set up the multi-conduit gateway as a gateway and network server, and set up your own private STM32-based low raw network. Thank you for watching this video.